The way of shopping from e-commerce sites or making online payments for subscription to OTT platforms has changed. That's what we will discuss in our report. In fact, this report is about tokenization. Let's understand what is this and how is it impacting the online shopping. When you use your debit or credit card for a transaction, that transaction is based on details such as a 16-digit card number, card expiry date, CVV, as well as a one-time password or transaction PIN. You need to fill all these information properly to complete the transaction. There is a huge change in the way you shop online. Maybe you might not have noticed this change, but it is very important for you to know about it. Tokenization is the process in which the details associated with the card are converted into a unique optional code called token. This token will always be unique depending on the card, the person requesting the token and the device. While making online payment, you have to select your preferred card payment option and enter CVV details. After that, click on secure your card or save card as per RBI guidelines. Now tap on save and enter the OTP received on the phone. After this, your credit or debit card will be tokenized. That is, you will be given a token number instead of a card number. Now with the help of this, you will be able to make payment. Tokenization has been implemented from October 1 to crack down on the increasing cases of cyber fraud across the country. With tokenization, the risk of fraud will reduce significantly by storing the card details in an encrypted manner. In simple terms, sharing the debit or credit card details in the form of tokens reduces the risk of fraud. Now you may have a lot of questions like will tokenization become mandatory for you now? Then the answer is no. You can choose whether to tokenize your card or not. If you don't want to tokenize while doing the transaction, then you can continue to do the transactions just as before by entering the card details manually. However, without token, the payment process can take longer. You might be wondering whether you will have to pay any fee to use the token. Then the answer to this question is also no. You will not have to pay any money to avail this service. Before signing off, we would like to give you some tips. Number 1. Different token numbers will be issued for the same card on different websites. That is, you can generate a token for your card by visiting every site that you use frequently. This will make it easier to use your card. Number 2. If you don't want to tokenize the card and still want to avoid the hassles of manually entering card details again and again, then you can opt for UPI payment. Number 3. Most e-commerce sites have their own e-wallet. So you can use that wallet for shopping or renewing the subscription by putting money there.